Hello friends, my name is Vikas Swami and today we are going to uh, do checkpoint installation and that would be the version will be R80.10. Here I have the document officially from checkpoint where we have the specification given if you require depending on what kind of installation we need we would require these resources so the new minimum has to be two core CPUs and 6 GB of RAM, 500 GB of installation. If you are not using security management server you can basically simple security gateway installation would really take uh, 15 GB of space and 4 GB of RAM. Uh, we will basically install both the management server as well as standalone. And uh, I have tried doing installation basically with less resources also. So we'll try seeing that you know how to install and uh, how to basically uh, you know uh, install the security management server and standalone on the same uh, platform. Next couple of video, I'll also show you how to basically do it separately. But today's video, I'm going to cover it all together. So the first thing that you require is a VMware, uh, you know, uh, workstation basically. Or if you have ESXi, that would be even better. And uh, here is my ESXi. I'm just going to create a new VM for installing Checkpoint R8010. I need an ISO image, which I already have. Linux is what is the OS which is basically required. Okay, the checkpoint basically has its own operating system called Gaia, which is actually based on Linux operating system. So this is the base environment. We are telling the VMware the, the, the operating system that is going to be installed here is going to be Linux kernel, right? So this is just to tell the VMware that this is the environment we need because the operating system is going to be Linux here. And here I'll say 8010 checkpoint is going to be our VM name. What is the minimum space I need? I'll just say probably 100 GB. And this is what I was telling you that official documentation basically says that you need to have 500 GB for security management server and standalone. Uh, we are taking much less resources. Now, if you have these resources, definitely you should go for it. And then I'm going to pick up 8 GB of RAM. Recommended there is 6 GB. And uh, we will require minimum 2 core. So, minimum 2 core are required. Then I need a couple of adapters. Right, by default, Checkpoint will give you only one adapter, which is the VMware uh, part will give you only the one adapter. We need to install more adapters because you require, you know, a couple of interfaces. So the one that is given by checkpoint is only management interface, right? We need to have inside, outside DMZ for doing our lab. So basically we require a couple of interfaces and the last interface is going to be uh, picked up by checkpoint for management interface. Remember that the highest number of the last interface itself is going to be used for management interface always keep it bridged if you want to access from your laptop or your machine so say close here i think almost everything is done got four interfaces out of the three usable one is for the management interface two cores 8 gb of ram and we are good to start the installation here Okay, it's asking us to install it on the Gaia. I am doing it. Now, Gaia is basically the operating system by Checkpoint, I was, as, as I was saying. And it's a secure Linux installation, basically. And further, Checkpoint installs all the blades on the top of the Gaia. So, Gaia is the base operating system that you have on the top of it. You have all the blades and all the security mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So, first, you need to have a very secure platform operating system. On the top of it, you can have applications, right? So when you say firewall, uh, threat detection, or anti-malware, you know, anti-adware and all that, you, those are basically called blades because they are basically going to get installed on the top of the Gaia operating system. Right now, what we are installing at this time is, go, is basically the Gaia operating system. Once the Gaia operating system installation is done, the next step go is going to be to install the gateway which is basically the blades and everything else right or the management server so this process right now what's happening is just gaia installation we are not installing checkpoint 
uh, R8010 in terms of blades and everything. We are installing the base Gaia operating system on it. Now this process can basically take around 5 minutes so I'll basically if required I'll pause it somewhere. Okay, these are some of the parameters here. I have to create a password for admin, the username in the admin, you can see on the screen, that's a default account, you can always change it later. We are checking all the network interfaces, four interfaces, and as I told you, the last, the bigger interface is going to be used for the management purpose. This is our management IP. This is for Gaia, managing the Gaia. So I'm going to give it this address so that I can access it from my subnet. Do you want to install it? Yes, we want to install it. It says it's going to format your hard drive, whatever space you have picked up from the hard drive. It will format it. I'm absolutely fine with that, so I'll allow it. Right, so this is now installing the core operating system installation is going on. Remember that. Okay, so right now the core and you see hardened networking services. So it's basically taking control of your LAN interfaces, trying to secure, trying to implement certain, you know, base policies to make it a secure operating system, etc. So this right now what's going on is pure Gaia installation. As you see the checkpoint Gaia R80.10. Okay, administration web portal feature is getting installed now. You can, we can do CLI to access our Gaia or we can use the web portal. Both options are available as you can see here. It's right now installing the administration of the web portal. Now, this is the point where it's actually copying the files of the checkpoint software blades. Remember that it is right now copying the files, it's not installing. Okay. Knowing this is very important because installation we are going to do later, right? So the Gaia operating system is copying the files right now and not installing the blades. Remember that it, the option came there. Okay, it wants us to reboot and it tells you that to complete the first time configuration of the system, log in from console or connect using a browser to the given address. I'll say reboot, no problems. Again, it takes a couple of seconds, so I'll pause it for a few. All right, it's a little faster this time. So now what's going to happen here is, and what is happening here is, that the Gaia operating system is installed, and it has copied the software blades images to the Gaia on the top of the uh, Gaia operating system, but that's just copied, not installed. Remember that because in a couple of minutes we are going to do the installation process and that will happen using the web UI interface, right? The web interface itself. I'll try to access CLI to see what happens. Just the reason I want to boot it to show you that even if you go to the CLI, CLI will tell us that first time installation has to be using. You see that on the screen? In order to configure your system, please access web UI and finish the first time desired. Right, so this is what I wanted to show you that you can't really do much here. First time you have to install Blade because Blades are only copied, not installed. Right, remember that the Blades are only copied and not installed yet. So let me go back to that address. I'll say HTTPS. And we'll go and check our interface to see what is the status of it. I think I did. Okay, that's a mistake. So here it has to be bridged. Sorry. The last interface is the most important one. Remember that the last interface was showing netted. By default, it will show you netted. You have to make it bridged to your laptop adapter. Now I go here and I'll try it again one more time. You see that it is opening. 
and this is going to be first time configuration wizard I am using the same username password that is set by me the username was set by Gaia here it is welcome to the checkpoint first time configuration wizard and I am saying next here continue with this yes uh, what is your management IP the, the highest interface E30 is the management interface I will say this and it's asking me do you want to basically configure your other interfaces at this time I am saying no I'll do it later what is your gateway name okay so I'll say it's basically R8010 or dash 10 that's my checkpoint firewalls name you want to connect to internet right now not required time is accurate it has picked up from my system now it's asking me to do two things do you want to install security gateway or and security management so we have an option to install just the security gateway and we have other option to install security management just the security management or we have an option to install both security gateway and security management or security gateway or security management right there is a difference between both the other one if you have uh, multiple domains which means you have a huge environment you are a large enterprise and you have multiple security management servers like these right you have multiple security management servers and you want to manage those multiple security management servers then in that case you are going to use multi domain server okay I'll explain you a little here a little bit here so basically what happens is we have one security management and multiple gateways so this is what most of the companies will basically do but if you are a large enterprise and you have you have let's say different locations across the world so this is your one location this is your one location then you have another location in which you have another security management interface and multiple gateways multiple blades you can call it or gateways you can call it right and you want them to come under the single administrative domain in that case you will basically be using multi domain solution this is a single domain solution single domain this is also single domain this is multi domain solution right so if you want uh, these people to come under single domain or multi domain it's totally up to you so let's leave it for the CCSE because I'm going to explain you in detail and we'll do practicals also when I teach you CCSE for CCSE perspective you just need to know security gateway and management I have a choice I can choose either one of that okay this is most important because if you do not install this first this has no meaning okay so I can install it later there is absolutely no problem I can install it in the same VM or I can install it in a different VM so if I choose this option I am putting these both the solutions into single VM or what I can do is I'll just install this and then I have to install checkpoint again and next time installation I have to do security gateway which I'll show you in next couple of videos right so security management is I'm going to sorry I'm going to pick up a single solution clustering we will talk later about it we have multiple uh, options in clustering we have active active clustering and active standby clustering so it totally depends on what kind of clustering solution you want clustering is basically as you might have seen in other solutions is basically a set of firewalls or set of products with the single you know similar kind of configuration or similar kind of model physical you know all the the parameter should be matching and it can load share or it can load balance etc right so basic clustering we can achieve clustering using this feature or we can also use VRRP so we will prefer VRRP for CCSA now it is highly recommended to keep this setting enabled to ensure let's see which setting okay so it says uh, check this point so that you keep on getting some kind of options from the checkpoint updates and all that right so the other option we have is uh, that where do you want to manage it from the security management server that we are installing right now security management server that we are installing what's the IP you want to manage right so if you are ma managing it from certain fixed IP address 
uh, you know you can give that public address or private IP address in your company for that administrator who is going to manage his machine probably he you know provided he has a static IP basically I'll click finish here and now you see that what's going to get installed so remember the, the process right how does the process work the process was pretty simple first installation right first step was Gaia installation right so that was the basically OS operating system that's called RAD 10 right the next one you have is security management server the next you have is security gateway servers gateways okay this is single domain solution how many gateways can you can have you can check the the documentation here and you can install as many gateways as you want to install basically based on the documentation and they can be managed using single security management server but if you are a multiple location solution right if you have uh, you know offices around the world and you want single team to manage them so basically in that case you can have multi-domain management installation basically that would be for the large enterprises who have offices in 40 countries 20 countries and all that okay so today we are basically doing this in this you have an option to have it individually installed as one VM and this as one VM today what are we doing we are doing one single installation for both these features on a single VM okay now we'll go back here to see what's going on to our installation and you see that security gateways are installed security management servers are installed and now on the top of it it's basically installing more uh, updates and then it's going to finalize the configuration so I'll pause it at this time because this is a time taking process all right guys so the installation is finished and we can see the message is asking us to reboot the firewall so we will reboot uh, the checkpoint solution okay you see that it's rebooting we click there and it's rebooting here the CLI as well okay so the next thing we will basically do is to just go to the once this reboots, we'll go back to the Gaia operating system through the web GUI. All right, friends, it has rebooted now. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the Gaia operating system. Sorry. All right, so that's the... And we'll say admin. And the password we have set up here okay and this is basically the web GUI for the Gaia operating system in the next video I'm going to explain you more about the other things uh, including Gaia and how to install smart console to access our management server right thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next video